family uh, that are joining us. Um, uh, and uh, both we have some supporters and donors on the phone with us. We have program leaders on the phone with us. Uh, and again, I just want to thank you all for joining us today. We are so appreciative. My name is Roy Jones, and I'm the Chief Development Officer here at Eckert Connects. And um, we've got a, a great, great uh, time today. And, uh, and just looking forward to um, to our time together today. So, so let me introduce our um, uh, interviewee. <laughs> and uh, I promised her I'm going to try and throw some softballs. <laughs> I'm pretty good at getting a curve. To make this stuff. Okay. Hold on to the ride. Um, but um, Tamika I'm Perry, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. She's, she has uh, um, been with the Eckert family um, uh, since 2019, and she hit the ground running. Uh, through her leadership in our Jacksonville office, uh, she's expanded now to Baker County as well. She's built an outstanding partnership uh, in 2020, now in 2021. Um, and her program is exceeding goals, even in spite of uh, this COVID pandemic that we're all dealing with. And Ms. Perry's team consists of an office of five, which she describes as small but mighty. And uh, her team members, uh, Angie uh, Gewant, I don't know if I'm saying all these right, workforce uh, development specialist, uh, India Grant, a workforce development coach in Baker County, uh, Anaya Jackson, education instructor, uh, and uh, Michaela Mon Munnings, a uh, workforce Munnings. development coach mm -hmm. and, uh, in Jacksonville. Um, when Tamika's asked, what's your secret? Her response is always, my team is the secret ingredient. Um, Ms. Perry is a, a native of Philadelphia and uh, it has lived in Jacksonville for 24 years. She has one daughter, Jade Hunter, and she's the proud grandmother of Jackson Hunter Smith. I got seven grandbabies myself, so I got you beat. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm just getting started. <laughs> well, Tamika, thank you again for joining us and taking a few minutes just to share about your program. Thank you. Let's, let me just kind of, uh, throw it back at you and I know we kind of call that area of, J of Jacksonville uh, uh, the first coast of Florida and uh, take it take a couple minutes and tell us about uh, your program uh, the kind of things you're doing um, and how you're 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 helping people in their career track there in Jacksonville well as some it has so many great programs we are the workforce development part of Eckerd's um, programs. We are um, a youth development program and we have been here since 2015. And I actually got the pleasure of meeting or being a part of the program when I worked for Career Source um, of Northeast Florida. I was with them for 16 years and I met this little short feisty young lady named Shalanda Rucker. She came kind of came from into our, we, our we have resources. interviewed Shalanda as well. <laughs> yes. And I met her in 2015 when she was um, a part of Hinkles. And um, we partnered with them then. And for some, uh, we she kept bringing this this Eckerd to me and I kind of worked together within the center and I finally had the opportunity to join the organization in 2019. So I went out on faith and said, you know what, this keeps dropping in my lap. It's time for me to go in and make a change. So I was glad I did it and I hit the ground running in 2000, August of 2019. Awesome. Um, we have a youth development program and what we do is basically employ young adults between 16 and 24. Um, we employ high school students and we also employ, we help uh, dropouts as well. Um, but our main, focus, our main focus is employment. We help them with certain um, different support services. Um, and we'll probably get more into that as we go. But our main objective is workforce development. Very good. Now, uh, will you, do you guys also help with uh, young people who need a GED or you refer yes, to them? Yes, so we, we work primarily or with uh, out of school youth. So you could be a high school graduate or you could be a dropout. 
Um, we have this year been working with uh, many, many students who need GEDs and high school diplomas. Very good. Very good. Well, talk to me about, uh, you know, helping these young people get employed. Uh, how does that happen? Um, I just assume for a minute that uh, uh, you're talking to some folks that uh, really have never been into a uh, workforce program office. Um, mm -hmm. Just assume for a minute that, that we have no idea of the kind of services that you provide. Um, okay. Talk about what those are. Um, so we would have a young person um, come into our office, call or email us, and we would um, do an intake or orientation either over, over the phone. Uh, because of COVID, we do a lot of um, virtual orientations now, um, but they're welcome to come into the office. And we do an orientation, then we do an intake process um, that would take about maybe two hours. They take tests and we want to find out, you know, if their basic skills is deficient and kind of figure out what gauge where they are. Then we offer them a two week um, training called Develop You. And Develop You, it's kind of, we always say, have, also have an Eckert You, but it's Develop You. And um, in that training, we give them resume. Um, resume workshops, we do financial literacy, we work on their interviewing skills, we do things like what's your elevator speech, how do you you sell yourself to an employer. So, so soft skills as well as soft the hard skills, skills training, hard skills and soft skills training, we bring in guest speakers. Um, but what's so unique about this program is that we offer incentives. So in that first week, we offer them $100 in that second week. They get another hundred dollars. It's kind of like a little carrot to keep them coming. Um, so throughout the program, each milestone that they that they achieve, they get some kind of incentive, monetary incentive. That's awesome. Yeah, awesome. and then we put them um, once they're ready. We kind of find out what's your interest. What are you interested in? We try to put them into an internship, which we call a work experience, a WEX, and. Um, that's a six week program and they make $9.25 while on this internship. And it's good for the employer. It's a win win for both the employer and the intern or the client because they can kind of see is this something that I really want to do? Is this something that I, I want to pursue? Is this a career I want to stay in? And for the employer, um, we're, we're actually paying them. So it's like a probationary period. And usually, yeah, usually they hire them and we have success for everyone. Fantastic. Now, how do you reach out to employers? Talk to me about that process. How do you find them? Um, we have, like I said, on our team, we have Angie Gwent. She is our workforce development specialist and she goes out into the community and she spreads the word about Eckerd and the wonderful things that we do. And that's how we get all of our employers to sign up with us. Very good. Very good. How many different employers are you working with? I won't hold you to the number. Uh, take a okay. guess. A guess right now, and I think we have 12 right now that we're working with. And Angie, again, has great relationships. Um, we're working with, in the healthcare, we have um, culinary, we have retail, and we have customer service. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So if somebody um, has a company out there uh, and they'd like to, uh, Find out more about this program. They just they just contact your office. They just contact our office at 904-423-1266. And good. Okay. And that number again. <laughs> that that number again. <laughs> <laughs> 904-423-1266. Twelve sixty six. Very yes. good. Well, we'll have you kind of repeat that uh, towards the end of our time together as no well. Problem. But. Uh, but pretty neat. Um, uh, just love hearing about your passion. Um, uh, and uh, how did you kind of move into this workforce space? What was your, um, um, uh, how did you get there? Um, 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 was it a, a, an interest in just helping young people? Was it an opportunity uh, to work with employers? What was it that motivated you and, and how, how, how you got in this in this career track? Actually, it was both. Um, when I moved here 24 years ago, I used to work for an organization most of you may be familiar with, Junior Achievement. 
Sure. And um, I would, yes. And I was the office manager there. <clears throat> and while working there, I saw that um, we didn't have a lot of minority volunteers. So I started an initiative to get more male minority um, volunteers to get into the classroom to teach the curriculum that they were providing. Um, then I was, um, upon just working in the community, I ran across Career Source, and um, they had a position open for a youth coordinator, and it was in workforce development. So I worked with, um, and that was in 2001, and I remember that because the, the second day of my um, day on the job, the towers were hit in 2001. So um, I've been working there since then and until 2019. And I, I primarily worked with um, in school youth. So I would go into the classrooms and teach employability skills, soft skills training. And um, during the summers, I would do internships um, with the city of Jacksonville. We partnered with them and provided internships and uh, summer jobs for over 500 students per summer. Wow. And wow. yeah, so again, I've been in this business for a long time, uh, again, 16 years, and I was glad to to bring my experience over to Eckerd. Wow. Thank you so much for being part of our team. Um, uh, I know you you uh, have a, a, a great team and, and uh, uh, talk to me about the staff and, uh, and the unique role that each person on the team. Well, we have um, India Grant. She actually, we expanded our services to Baker County, which is McClenny, Florida. I don't know if it, many are um, familiar with that. It's a small little rural town outside of Jacksonville, about 30 minutes away. And India is our case manager, our career coach out in Baker County. Kayla Munnings, we kind of stole her from uh, South Florida. Um, she was moving back to, to North I Florida. Tell. I know. <laughs> Um, she's our career career coach in um, in our Jacksonville office, and we have one educational instructor, and she works primarily. Her name is Anaya Jackson, and she works primarily with um, our GED and our high school participants. So, if you're coming into our office and you want to do um, get your high school diploma, we have a virtual high school called Penn Foster. And we recently had um, about seven graduates and we hosted a nice ceremony for them. And it was it. Really a nice experience for them. So our office, it's small. And as I said, it's small, but mighty. And I have a great team. Um, they dig in every day. They're passionate about what they are doing. I couldn't ask for a better, better team. Very good. Very good. Well, I, I, I know, uh... One of the things that uh, how you and I first met uh, when I joined Eckerd um, just over a year ago um, is your um, your computer lab, your learning laboratory. Um, talk about that. I know you've had some recent success there. Uh, share with how that helps the kids. And I know in this COVID environment, it's a little different right now. But uh, but, but but talk about how that lab helps helps your young people. Um, well, our facility, we are on the annex of a church. Um, so we have three, I guess, three offices. We have our main office. We have an office where we conduct our trainings, our, our develop you trainings. And we have um, a really outdated computer lab with um, some really outdated computers. And we, uh, since I've come there, besides everything else, I've been trying to get, you know, remodel and just get our office up and running um, and looking a little bit more spiffy. So um, I finally reached out to Baptist Health and they have graciously um, donated 10 laptop, or excuse me, desktop computers to our computer lab. And I was so excited and ecstatic about that because our, our computers are very slow. So our high school students that come in um, daily to work on their high school diplomas, um, it takes a little bit longer for them. So now I hope that this helps them. Fantastic news. Yeah. You know, that really is um, um, an area that we're seeing more and more and more of our programs 
have a computer lab or have a learning center. Mm -hmm. And most have really not thought about the fact of, of reaching out and getting, creating an annual sponsorship to not only fund the cost of that, of that learning center, that computer lab uh, for upgrades and that kind of thing, but, but also help with, with resources that you can use where needed most. So I just commend you for working on this. I know you've been Thank at you. it for a while. Yes, and, I have. <laughs> uh, so I just I uh, want to encourage all of our programs. You know, if you've got an uh, if you have a, a, a computer center or a learning center, uh, that is a unique naming opportunity. Um, um, Melanie Weber from our um, corporate relations department, um, you know created templates for sponsorships. We'd love to come alongside you and see if we could help you raise cash resources to help underwrite your program. Uh, that's what we're here for. And it's just so neat uh, uh, seeing uh, business partners come alongside our programs like Tamika just explained. But those computer labs, that is, um, very important. Uh, is very important. And it's something that's usually underfunded. Yeah. And so, and so I just wanted to point that out and say, great job, great example. And, uh, you know, we look forward to, to helping you expand that. Uh, uh, as and we're, we're taking all donations. We need desks. We need office desks. We need a computer desk for the kids. We need chairs. We need new carpeting. We need a bunch of things. So, <laughs> so there's stuff people could help you with. Yes. <laughs> well, well, let's. Let's pivot. I mean, we'll come back to the needs in just a minute. Okay. Um, um, talk to me about some of the kids that this is benefiting. Tell me some of their stories. Um, that's I know that's your heart. That's your passion. It's really why all of us are are uh, here at Eckert. Uh, quote Jack and Ruth Ruth Eckert. It's about the kids. And uh, share share a few stories with us if you wouldn't mind. Well, we have one recent um, client, his name was uh, Sean Harris, and he um, came in, he wanted to get his high school diploma or his GED. Sean came in faithfully every day. He did his Develop You, he did um, his WEX, he, did, he came in, he did everything that we asked him to do. So he has to do some remedial training. So he had to travel every day to another uh, location. <laughs> And while he was there practicing and getting some help on his GED, his bike, he, his precious bike that he rode everywhere was stolen. Um, so he came to us with it and we found a donor. Um, actually my director, Tom Gray, she said, why don't you try reaching out to the local police department? They have a bunch of bikes that, you know, they have in lockup, they may be willing to donate one. So I did that. And um, we had a huge present presentation. We, we went to um, where he was doing his GED and we surprised him with a bike. And not only did the donor give him a brand new bike, they gave him a helmet, they gave him a lock, they gave him a pump in case you know, his tires went flat. Um, so it was really an exciting time for him. And the reason why we wanted to do that for Sean is because no matter what, no matter rain or shine, he would always show up and he was very loyal and committed to getting his GED. So that was one story. We also have a young man, his name, um, Antonio Brown. Um, he was homeless. And he was living, actually living under bridges here in Jacksonville while trying to go to high school. And many people at his high school didn't know that. Um, he, came to, he came to Eckerd, he heard about us, and we were able to get him uh, a job. Um, he did a WEX with uh, Jumbo Shrimp. That's our semi-pro baseball team here. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I hate the name, but oh well. <laughs> <I like it. laughs> the Jumbo Shrimp. Um, and he worked there for the six weeks. They loved him. Um, we also put him in forklift training so he could get certified and, and, be, and have a forklift license. So between working at Jumbo Shrimp, um, he also found a job working as a forklift driver. And he's also doing that, making over about $15 an hour. So Sean is awesome. doing quite well right now, and we're very proud of him. 
I'm sorry, Antonio. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, you, um, that sparks a, a story from my past. Um, um, when I was a kid, my mom was the first licensed forklift truck operator in the state of Ohio. And uh, <laughs> people have no idea how much those licenses uh, help you yes. in, in employable skills, right? That's a big yes. deal. Yes, yes. To walk into an employer and say that I have, I'm certified in this. Um, it will put you ahead of the line. Definitely. Well, that is, that is so special. You know, you, you think about, uh, um, uh, Sean and Antonio, these young people, um, uh, you know, and, and what they need, um, 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 and, and, and to really, um, uh, recognize them. I mean, one of the programs that we have here at Eckert in, uh, we really want to encourage uh, programs like yours to make it to take advantage of this, but we have a scholarship uh, fund mm -hmm. uh, uh, that that right now we've some of the, uh, we've had donors and supporters, some of them may be on this call today, uh, that have uh, helped us raise, uh, believe it or not, um, over two hundred fifty thousand dollars is is available right in the fund today, and. Uh, and and if you've got young people in your program, and again, we're looking for, for people like the two you described that are top performers, doing what they're supposed to do. They're an example to their peers. Um, um, you know, we uh, are able to. These scholarships are not just for um, continuing education, although some have been used for that. But we've purchased bicycles. We've helped pay for car repairs. We've, Help pay a uh, down payment on a on a used car. We uh, we have uh, most of them today. As you might guess uh, include some sort of help for um, technology issues, um, right. you know, like a, a laptop or 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 uh, you know, some way to, uh, uh, to to put the tools in their hands that they need. And uh, again, I want to encourage you to to uh, apply for some of these success awards. Um, uh, cause uh, it's, it is there to help you. Um, and, uh, and I'm sure that there are going to be uh, donors that are going to be willing to help fund these uh, application requests. It is a, um, three or four page application that you have to complete bragging on the young person like you just did. Okay. But, um, mm -hmm. they, and they, they can really use that. Definitely. They could be used if you could use them for graduates. So this could be for a, a young person that has already completed the program and maybe started work. Um, um, it can be used for um, somebody that's currently in the program. Uh, but, um, but, but we really would love you to, to uh, take advantage of that and, and plug into uh, um, uh, Success Award Scholarship Program. Um, well, take, take a minute, Tamika, and talk to me about the impact that COVID uh, has had on uh, your program over the last year uh, and, and how you guys have, have battled through that and continue to work with clients. Well, um, like most, we worked um, last March and we all started working um, from home, um, but it didn't stop for some reason our clients from calling and for us making our numbers. Um, we're actually able to do a lot of cleanup because we were working from home and and um, you know, files and get things and get our office in order. At the same time, um, again, we have been able to make our environment because the need is is still on this definitely. Yeah, I don't know where that background's come from. I'm trying to find it. Here. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we we managed to get through. I think about eight months. Um, Again, our office is small, so we rotate between teams and going into the office. Um, we were hit with COVID. Someone tested positive in our team, on our team. And um, I, as you can see, I'm at home, I'm quarantining. And, um, but it hasn't stopped our team. So, um, we are still getting the calls. We're still enrolling students. We're still uh, doing our develop you. We have to do it virtually. I said we're still doing our orientations. It hasn't stopped because the need hasn't stopped. So, very good. And and a lot of that is online. I mean, or or by phone. 
Yes. Um, mm -hmm. um, you know, th those technology requests, and again, uh, you've already mentioned uh, your learning lab, um, but I just want to encourage those, especially supporters that we might have on the phone today. These technology needs are real, um, uh, and they are often um, over and above our standard contract. And so, uh, you know, these are kind of things that that, uh, that we need help with financially. And, uh, and, and, and so, again, I, I want to encourage you to come alongside Kamika and her program and the young people uh, and help them if you can, um, especially in this COVID environment. Uh, we would need technology support uh, to be able to, to, to help. Um, do you see clients coming to you? I assume most have a cell phone. Um, most have cell phones. Um, we we um, we have a lot still come into the office to use computers because they don't have home computers. So we find that where they would visit um, a career source center to do to get their um, to to apply for you know jobs online or whatever. But a lot of them still need to come into our office because they don't have home computers or laptops. Talk to me about um, some of the things you're looking at um, in, in, in now 2021. Any new uh, program developments, anything that you guys are planning to do, um, hopefully as we come through and out of this COVID scenario, uh, any new goals on the horizon, things you're thinking about, projects, projects you're working on? Um, we don't have any really new projects. We're just trying because of COVID to make sure that we make our yearly goals. Um, but my goal from day one, and I always said this to my team, is to have a waiting. I want to have a waiting list of kids wanting to come to enter our program. Um, and I want um, to, to build our reputation because in the in the beginning, because of such high turnover in our office, we were um, we they were dealing with a lot of challenges in that office. And I want to build our reputation again in the community. Let them know that we're here. Um, let them know about Eckerd because again, I said it's like a diamond in the rough. This program is so amazing, and so many people can benefit from it. I wish I had this program when I was younger or, you know, I, even though I am a high school graduate, I could, after I graduated, I, I didn't know what direction I wanted to go in, you know, and to have someone to help you and to walk you through, okay, well, maybe this is good for you or maybe this isn't, um, would benefit so many people. Um, but right now we're just trying to make our goals through this pandemic and, and just get our name out there and let them know what an amazing program we have. Because we do have some supporters on the phone today and and uh, uh, I don't know if, if you'd like to share anything specific, but uh, but uh, take just a minute thinking about donors. How could they help you? Um, um, let us know. Uh, how they could help kids right now. Monetary donations are always welcomed, but as I said, we are trying to um, to spiff up, get our office looking a little bit more cosmetically better. Um, so anything that you, if you have old desk, um, old um, computer desk, office desk, phones, anything would truly help our office so that, you know, when our team comes in, and our clients, you feel kind of proud of where you are and you feel at home. So um, we've done the best that we can and we do, we do have a better looking office. Um, I'm happy to say that um, the team again, we've, um, you know, done what we could um, and, you know, trying to help each other just kind of make the office look a little bit more presentable. But other than that, we can always use monetary um, donations we thank you for whatever you can do at this point um but that's all very good now if somebody wants to reach you again Tamika, um what's your number it's 904-423-1266 and my and my email address is t perry at eckerd.org 
Tamika, thank you so much for joining us today. It's so exciting to uh, hear about the program. Thank hear you. Hear about your staff. Thank you. Uh, hear about uh, the young people that and, and the lives that you're impacting forever. Uh, it's it really is special. I can't wait till things get uh, climate changes a little bit. I can get up there and, and see you in person. Yeah, and, I was kind uh, of disappointed you couldn't come. I really wanted you to see our computer lab and the, and the things that we need. But we we are going to do that. We are going to do that, and do, and hopefully it'll happen soon. So again, thank you, everyone. Are there any questions from our audience before we wrap up here today? I always uh, get in a hurry and forget to ask. But uh, any questions at all from anybody on the on the uh, on the call today? All you got to do is unmute yourself. I have, a, I have a quick question. Hi, this is Kat. Hey, I, um, Kat. I help Roy and some of the teams sometimes on raising more money. And I just wanted to know, how are you taking care of yourself and your staff? It's such a long journey <laughs> over this last year. Mm -hmm. Are you guys finding ways to take, take care of yourself so you can keep going forward? Take care of us ourselves as far as um, COVID? Well, more just mentally and emotionally and just, uh, mentally, you know, keep it, me yeah, keeping that, um, you know, inspiration and hope and it can be a long journey sometimes. I try my best. I send every morning, I will send um, some kind of email just to say, good morning. I'm thinking about you guys. Um, how are you doing? We try to get together as much as possible. Um, our staff meetings. We try to do something fun. Um, we get together. We have a good synergy in our office, and I always inspire and thank my staff every day for everything that they do because they're the backbone. Um, they're on the front lines, and I have to let them know how much I appreciate that. So I try to do that every opportunity that I have. Awesome. Thank you, Kat. Anybody else have any questions for Tamika? I told you, Tamika, it's like pulling yeah, teeth to get people did. to speak up. <laughs> we <got one. laughs> well, listen, thank you so much for joining us. We are honored. We are blessed. Um, and um, so thankful you are there, the first coast of Florida. Uh, helping young people with uh, with employable skills, helping young people to change their life and and really change the trajectory of their life. Thank and, you. Uh, and so, thank you for all you're doing. We appreciate you, uh, team. Please join us next Wednesday. You'll be getting a notice on our next lunch and learn. Thank you so much for being part of these Wednesday meetings. Make a great job today. We are just honored thank to work you. with you. All thank right. you for thank the opportunity. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.